Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I talk about the NWSL, women's soccer, just soccer, only soccer. Last week we had the expansion draft for Angel City FC and San Diego Wave. Yes, that is the official name for the San Diego Expansion Club. Then on Saturday we had the 2022 NWSL draft. This draft and everything leading up to it has been interesting and fun. There were a lot of interesting trades going on before the drafts, like Kaylin Sheridan was traded to San Diego from Gotham FC, which made way for Ashton Harris and Allie Krieger to be traded from Orlando Pride to Gotham FC. Christy Mewis, who was left unprotected in the expansion draft by the Houston Dash, was selected by San Diego, but from what I heard, she didn't really want to play for San Diego, so San Diego traded her to Gotham. During the NWSL draft, the Portland Thorns picked a questionable draft pick who kind of goes against everything the Thorns stand for. I'm not going to go into much detail about it and I'm not going to do a future video about it, but let's just say Portland fans weren't happy about that draft pick and if the Thorns do keep this player, which it seems likely, fans are going to make their displeasure known during the games. Thank God I am an OL Rain fan. Speaking of OL Rain, let's get into the draft news for OL Rain, which is what you're all here for. Starting with the expansion draft, Angel City FC selected Danny Weatherholt from OL Rain's unprotected player list, and San Diego selected Kristen McNobb. Sad to see both of these players go, especially Danny Weatherholt. She was a very versatile player. And I know Laura Harvey liked using her in the defense. McNobb, also a really good defender. Like, O.L. Reign's defense was very solid with these two, especially when you throw in Lauren Barnes or Alana Cook. So, yeah, sad to see them go. But still, thank you, Danny Weatherholt, and thank you, Kristen McNobb. Good luck in Angel City and San Diego. Now moving on to the 2022 NWSL draft. This wasn't a draft pick. This was a trade, and I don't think anyone saw this coming. I didn't see this coming, but looking back, I understand and get why this trade happened. This trade was being worked on way before the drafts, so there's that. O.L. Rain acquired Phoebe McLaren from Orlando Pride. In exchange, O.L. Rain traded its 10th round draft pick and its second round draft pick for the 2023 NWSL draft along with players Leia Pruitt and Celia. A lot of Rain fans found this trade questionable, but as someone who followed Orlando Pride in 2021, Phoebe McLaren is a really good, very confident, and very, very, very aggressive defender. Like, watch your shins, because she is unafraid when it comes to tackling. She does need to clean it up, though. I'll give you guys that. <laughs> but I still like her as a defender. I think being at OL Rain, Harvey is going to clean up her defending, and alongside Alana Cook and Lauren Barnes, McLaren will hopefully be more comfortable playing and will learn and get more experience. For whatever reason, Becky Burley, Orlando Pride's interim head coach, almost never started Phoebe McLaren in games, especially as the season was winding down. And I found that very frustrating because Phoebe McLaren is a great defender whenever she came on for Orlando Pride. Hopefully she does get more play time and hopefully she does get to start in some games. Like I'm hoping McLaren and Alana Cook will, will pair up nicely in the rain defense, much like Casey Kruger and, and Tierna Davidson in the Red Stars defense. Okay, so while Phoebe McLaren may, not, may have been a questionable trade, it's probably not as questionable as O.L. Rain trading their 15th overall draft pick to the Washington Spirit in exchange for $85,000 in allocation money. Yeah, I don't know what that was. No one knows what that was. But if a team is like, hey, we're basically going to pay you $85,000 for that 15th draft pick, I would probably be like, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> I'm questioning that more than the Phoebe McLaren and trade. Now let's get into the draft picks. O.L. Reigns selected six players in the 2022 NWSL draft. The first one is the eighth overall draft pick 
um, and I apologize for messing up this name, Johnny Kajan, Kajan from St. John's University. Owa Rain was able to get Gotham FC's first round draft pick and they selected Johnny, um, Johnny Kajan. It's funny, when I saw this player's name, I was wondering if she was from Hungary. The Z and S together is its own letter in the Hungarian alphabet. Anyway, not only is this player from Hungary, she played on the Hungarian national team and earned her first international cap at 16. At St. John's, she played almost 6,000 minutes, scored 45 goals and 11, ex uh, and 11 assists, and that's just awesome and very impressive. I'm excited about this player. I want to see how she does playing for OA Reign. The fact that she's been called up at 16 to the Hungarian national team is just amazing. I think this was a great pick. I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on this player during the 2022 season. With the 20th overall draft pick, OL Reign selected goalkeeper Claudia Dickey from the University of North Carolina. So UNC produces a lot of great soccer players. Mia Hamm, Christine Lilly, Serena Weichmann, Megan Klingenberg, Lucy Braun, surprisingly, Tobin Heath, Krista, uh, Crystal Dunn, Ashlyn Harris, Ali Long, Lot Wuven Moy, which is also surprising too. So I kind of have um, high hopes for Claudia Dickey. However, O.L. Reign has three other keepers already, Fallon Toulis joyce Ella Diederich, and Cosette Morsch, who's on loan to the French club Issei until June 2022. While I am excited about Claudia Dickey coming on, it's I'm, I'm just wondering if O.L. Reign is actually going to keep all four of these keepers or send one of them on loan. I can imagine that it's just going to be a war zone when it comes to trying to get that starting goalkeeping, that starting goalkeeper position. But yeah, we're going to have to see what happens in the 2022 season. It's going to be interesting to see who claims the starting keeper position. Like because Sarah Buhadi was loaned to OL Reign in 2021, we have yet to see how Fallon Tulis Joyce, Ella Diedrich do in a game. So yeah, we're going to have to keep an eye on the keepers for 2022. With the 21st overall draft pick, O.O. Rain selected forward Ryan Brown from Wake Forest University. And from how things sound, she is a very high endurance and strong athlete. She played at least 65 minutes in every game and had even gone the full 90 or more eight times. And the thing that made me really, really like this player is she's extremely versatile, able to play as a forward, midfielder, and a right back. So if you miss Danny Weatherholt, now you have Ryan Brown, a forward, midfielder, and a right back. Like, how did you get so versatile as a player? Like, this is a coach's dream. When Laura Harvey gets her hands on her, Ryan Brown is probably going to master the entire back line center back and left back included. Like this is just a whole new a whole new level of versatile forward, midfielder and defender. So, I think personally this was an awesome pick. With the 32nd overall draft pick, Owal Rain selected forward Kaylee Halverson from Santa Clara University. So, when I first saw her picture without seeing the name, I thought she was Eugenie Losomer. <laughs> Miss her already. Anyway, Kaylee played 75 games for Santa Clara and scored 7 goals and got 3 assists. She started in 15 out of 23 games in her final season and scored 3 goals and got 2 assists. I um, had to cut the video short because I dropped something. Anyway, when it comes to Kaylee Halverson, she was also named to the All West Coast Conference second team. So yeah, just overall, another good player. With the 33rd overall draft pick, O.L. Reign grabbed midfielder Olivia Vandegak from the University of Washington. She played the full 90 14 times. In her senior year, she was named to the All-Pac 12 third team and the Scholar All-Region second team. She set a Husky record for the most games played in a career with 88. She scored 12 goals and got 9 assists. I mean, would be cool if Olympic Leone sent us Danielle Van de Dong to go with the Vanderjack. It sounds like I made like an Oktoberfest 
cocktail or something. <laughs> With its final pick, OL Reign selected midfielder Marley Canales from UCLA. She was selected to the All Pac 12 third team. She started in all 20 games for UCLA. She was ranked fifth on the team with three goals and three assists, and she was the captain of the UCLA team. She played over 100 minutes three times and played a total of 1,735 minutes. So these were the players selected by O.L. Rain. Who are the players you're most excited about? Who are the ones you're not too thrilled about? Personally, I'm looking forward to seeing um, Shani Kashin, uh, Ryan Brown, and Phoebe McLaren. I'm especially looking forward to Ryan Brown. I'm interested in seeing how Laura Harvey handles her versatility and what she does with Ryan Brown. Possible U.S. Women's National Team material? Maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> anyway, that is all I have for you guys today or tonight. Happy holidays, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.